it doesn't take a ton of pressure. That gives me pretty good motion. I think I'll I think we're getting it done. So I finally got around to ordering a hydraulic top link for the T25. If you guys have been watching the channel, I have used on occasion the top link for the T474, which is a little bit longer, but two inches makes a difference. Let's lay this out on the counter. Uh, Tanya's not here to scold me. I got this on the kitchen counter. Got here. Now I will say this, I was sitting there playing with it. These, uh, these nipples that are, got the hydraulic nipples here, they're not attached. You're gonna have to tighten these down. And obviously you're gonna have to install the ones on the hydraulic cylinder. So this top link is gonna be more in line for say, um, I'm gonna say it's gonna be more in line for a, uh, like the T25, the smaller uh, horsepower tractors, like the, say the John Deere 1025R, uh, the Massey Ferguson GC1705, somewhere up to a, it's gonna, I would say in the, this is gonna be a, a perfect fit for a subcompact tractor. So to install this, it's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, it's just a, uh, remove these little, both of these top ports, make sure they're clean. Make sure no paint falls down into those when you take those out. And then uh, hook it up to the rear of the tractor and that's it. I did see that it was, you know, it's been beat up on in, in, in shipping pretty good. Uh, just paint, but, uh, and that's really not big, really that important because it's gonna get beat up on the tractor too. But, you know, I hate that when you get something new and it's already beat up a little bit. So this video is not sponsored by the top link manufacturer. However, we are going to leave a link in the description that will link you to say an Amazon link or a tractor supply link, some sort of link like that, that helps support our channel. Let me talk you through how you know that you are getting the right top link for your tractor. So now we're going to show you how to buy the correct hydraulic top link. So what you're going to start with is your, your top link, your manual top link off of your tractor. So you're going to loosen the nut up on the top and what you're going to do is unscrew each end off of the top link. The top link threads start at the very beginning of this and go to about this point. So you, your threads need to be at least that long, maybe a little bit longer. So I need to go into the top link about that far. And all I'm gonna do is just sit here, put my fingernail on it and spin it up to it. So now I know that top, that side is fully extended on this side. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side except this one's in reverse. Again, we're going to, the threads on the top link come to about right here. So we're gonna go about this thread and I can just actually see that one, so. So we've got it fully extended and we're going to use the center of the pinhole as our center. So I'll set this on the, the zero, basically at the center. And this is gonna put us pretty much at 24 and a quarter inches long for our full extension. So the next thing we're gonna do is collapse it all the way in and then we'll know our minimum and maximum extension. So now we have it collapsed. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put the pins at the center and that's gonna put us at about 15 and a half inches. So that is our fully collapsed. And I'll say this, uh, you're never gonna collapse your top link that much. So if your hydraulic top link doesn't come down that far, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fret that too much. So this is the one I bought. It's 16 and an eighth, which, you know, basically 16 inches, a hair over 16 inches. So it's a half inch longer uh, at the start, which already I'm telling you, that's not an issue. You're never gonna collapse your top link that far. Nothing I've ever done in all the years using a tractor I've ever collapsed the top link completely. So when I ordered this one fully extended, uh, this one will be 22 and a half and the one that came off of it will be, or it was 24 and a quarter, so we, we've lost an inch and three quarters. Again, in all of my years using the tractor, I never have extended a top link all the way out for any reason, you know, and trying to use it. Uh, so you're never gonna extend it all the way out and you're never gonna collapse it all the way. That's why it has such a range. So this is gonna be perfectly, uh, perfectly fine. And the fact that this one collapses back down, 
to 16 inches is going is was my problem with the other one that I had for the that really for the big tractor it was about 19 inches long fully collapsed and that three inches there that made a difference so if you're out out away from your shop you can just take a pair of pliers like this this has the copper washer on the other side as well and I know there's gonna be people that hate me for doing that but you're not probably ever gonna take that off in the life of the probably the next time that comes off will be the when this cylinder fails and we'll tighten up the other one as well all right i'm looking this over i've taken my plugs out and how i'm going to run mine um, each tractor is a little different you got to think about this top link is this big around and these small tractors Sometimes when you lift it all the way up, there's not enough room for this rise, this risen part right here. So what I'm gonna do is turn it around upside downwards. So this will be facing down. Uh, I'll have plenty of room for it facing down with the hoses. But what that means for me is I'm not gonna have room for this particular hose kind of protector. So I'm gonna take this thing out. And then we're gonna set ours up where I'm gonna run one hose out that way, one hose out this way, and they'll come back around to the tractor. Probably use some zip ties or something maybe to make it uh, a little bit uh, less congested, but uh, I think that's gonna be the better way to go. So we're gonna take this little rubber red cap off. And if you'll notice, this is a banjo and this is your banjo boat. And there's two copper crush washers. So you're gonna put one on either side and like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run mine off to the side. And I may have to adjust these after I get it on the tractor. And mine, this is gonna be run upside downwards. So that's just where I'm going with it. it may be the wrong choice. I think I'm gonna go like this because it's gonna to need to kind of aim up just a little bit. It doesn't take a ton of pressure for these comp comp uh, copper washers to be compressed. Well, that's a how full to say. So I got the second one, got the little cover off. Make sure I put my brass washers. I don't know if I said copper earlier, but I meant brass. So I come come back, sometimes come back and watch the videos that I that I make and I'm like, how did that word come out of my mouth? I know better. But it happens. More and more as I get older. So I think I want to put it like this. I'm going to set it upside downwards. I'm going to run the hoses across the top because my quick connects are on the top here above the top link pin. So it'll be like this. May use some springs to run these hoses, you know, keep them kind of pulled together. All we're going to know is if we go try it out. So I'm going to take my pin, put through. And I believe that gets right here. Now you can see up here on the back of mine, there's a, a little bit of a bow on this little bracket that goes across here. And the reason that little bow is there because I found that on the bigger top link that this stuff doesn't need to be on the top. So it's one of them live and learn lessons. Remember to tighten these up. There, again, there's a brass crush washer here. You're gonna tighten it up tight enough that it doesn't get in the way. Now you can bleed these out if you want to. There, there's, you definitely can go through that process if you want to crack a line and let the air come out. But I found in cylinders no more than this, it'll take the air out pretty, pretty quick. All right. Now the moment of truth. I think if we, again, if we put a spring, get a little spring. No spring. I don't want them to. Put a couple little zip ties right here just to keep them kind of in the right place. I'm not gonna tighten these down really tight just yet because after we put a couple of implements on, they may want to move around a little bit, but I'm not gonna cut them off either. So I think right in there will, that gives me pretty good motion. I think I, I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them now. All right, now we're gonna see if it works. I think we're getting it done. You 
hear that little click going back and forth? That's the diverter valve in the center. As all of the more of the oxygen, the oxygen, the gas leaks out of the cylinder, you we basically purge the cylinder of of air. It'll it won't click as much. All right, my friends, that is how you purchase and install the correct top link. I, I am gonna figure, have to figure out some kind of hanger situation. This one's not gonna get it done anymore. This, this was where I wanna not using it, I could hang it up here. So I think I'll fabricate something a little more elaborate to hold this up. Yeah, we got these holes here to, let me take this off and straighten it out anyway. Let's don't talk about that ever again. Hey guys, I wanna thank you for watching our channel. Um, Little Gizmo has been back here. He wants to go somewhere and it's been raining for three days so he ain't got to go anywhere. So he's sitting in the back of the truck the whole time we did this video. Hey, all seriousness, I really do appreciate you watching our channel. If you would hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button, it means the world to us. We're trying to grow. We're trying to get that 55,000 subscribers and, and, and move forward. Listen, God bless. Have a great day.